Okay, I'm gonna see if anybody else pops on. I have something else to share with you guys that has, it's separate from what I was just sharing with you guys. So I'm gonna see if anybody pops on live and then we'll go from there. Hi, Amanda. Okay, I always like to have at least one person watching so I don't feel like I'm talking to myself, but there's something I wanna share with you guys. Um, this is really personal, but I told myself, hi Steph again, um, I told myself that I would do this because um, it's really important to me and I think it, well, I don't know, I'm just gonna talk, I'm just gonna share. Um, I'm gonna be very vulnerable because vulnerability has, has come to be one of my biggest strengths and it's really the only way I know how to share and to really help other people is to be vulnerable and be that person. Hi Grizel, hi Katie. Um, oh my gosh, I haven't seen or talked to you two in a while so thank you for being on. Um, hi Rach, um, Rachel. Okay, so here it is guys. Um, let's see. A little over five months ago, uh, you guys saw some posts, maybe, maybe you didn't. I miss you too, Katie. That I lost my brother to suicide. And it changed my life forever. It changed the way I look at life, the way I am inspired in things, um, my values, what I do on a daily basis, how I, I mean, it changed everything. I, I can't put it into any other words than that. Ripped the heart, my heart out of my body, pulled the rug right off my feet. Everything that I thought I knew and understood, I felt like I was starting from ground zero again. You know, anything that I've learned in life seemed like a big question again. And I've been struggling, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sure you guys, I've had people tell me that have seen me, that they've seen the difference in me. You know, Jess, I haven't seen you on Facebook and live in a while, that was something you did regularly. Um, you know, I miss your energy, I, you know, I miss who you are. Um, it's been hard, it's been hard to find that energy, to find that inner light, that inspiration. And this past couple days, I realized that I've lost my inspiration. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I've been so blessed to be inspired for so long that I didn't know what it was like to not be inspired until I went to reunion and realized that's what has been missing is I haven't been inspired because I've been so clouded with pain. And the things around me, the people around me, the opportunities around me that usually excited me and made me happy um, was being dimmed and blocked from all the pain I've been suffering from. And every day has been a, has been a struggle, has been a fight. You may have seen glimpses of happiness because I was constantly putting effort into to trying to not stay in a sad place. And so whenever I had the moment of, of, of happiness or excitement, I would share it immediately because I, I, I needed to be able to be moving forward um, because I didn't want to be crawling under a rock and under, you know, into a depression and which I've been before. And that was scaring me. I was worried, is that gonna happen because I've been there before and for a lot less reasons, right? The reason why I'm sharing with all of you is because we all need something to look forward to in life. We all need something that pulls you forward because we all have tragedy. We all have things that set us back. It doesn't have to be suicide like me. Um, you know, it could be something like, you know, you may be struggling financially. You may be having struggles with your spouse. Your children may be struggling in a certain area with school. Um, you know, you may have some self-esteem issues that you've been struggling with. Um, you know, something may be struggling and hard for you in your life, whatever that may be. You may have a fantastic life and nothing's wrong, but something's still bothering you and you don't even know why. And you're thinking, why am I even unhappy? I, I have a great life, right? Um, usually what the reason why we 
struggle and we feel like something is um, stopping us from truly being happy, it's because we're stuck. We're in a place that we're not moving forward somewhere. And there's nothing really to kind of give us that focus at the light at the end of the tunnel, um, something to focus on that makes us say, this is why I'm getting out of bed every day. This is why I am um, going to push through no matter how hard I'm struggling right now. And you, a lot of you have been watching me throughout the years, watching my journey. A lot of you have been a part of it at some point. Um, some of you are still on that journey with me. Some of you may have not been on this journey, but you've been watching. And um, I have to seriously, honestly tell you from the bottom of my heart, if it wasn't for the growth and the that my career has given me, that they've constantly be pumping opportunities to learn about myself and learn about life and even my faith in God, if you can believe that, um, my career has helped me become closer to my own faith. And um, obviously with the situation I I'm just went through and I'm still going through, that's when life starts to get hard and you start to question your own faith. You know, you question God. I mean, I think all of us have experienced loss at some point in our life. Maybe not. I thank God you haven't if you haven't, but that's a cycle of life is death. And we always tend to question God's purpose and his, his intentions of, of why did you take this person from me? Um, and I've noticed that if it wasn't for what I've gone through and learned and um, seen and had, have had an example of people with such strong faiths, um, I wouldn't be able to pull through. I wouldn't be able to see that there's reasons to move on. There's Well, not even move on because I can't move on from my brother, but move forward. You know, unfortunately, he's never coming back. And so I still have a life to live. I still have, a, you know, family to live for, friends and you know, other family members. And um, this business gives me a purpose. It gives me people to that rely on me, not just my family. Other people that, you know, they're looking for me to show up. And that that gives me accountability. It gives, it it builds my integrity to say, you know what, it's not just about me. Like, if it's just about me, then go ahead and crawl under a rock. But are you living for you, Jess? Or are you living to inspire and help other people be the better them? And hopefully help them through something tragic that, you know, if they ever do. Um, this reunion made me realize that my purpose is to help other people push through, pull through, life whenever that happens um whatever struggle that may be i need to be the example that it's possible and i'm going to do that in honor of my brother i know that going to disneyland or spain or italy may not be such an exciting thing to some people maybe they you've already been there maybe you've been to disneyland more than you can count on both hands and toes and in feet i don't know it's what it represents it gives you something to look forward to it gives you something to work hard to better yourself because what it takes to earn these trips i love you too Brenda. i'm so glad you were there like, I want to earn these trips because that means I'm helping you guys. That means I'm contributing to others. It doesn't mean that I'm going to go to Italy or, or Spain. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. But what it represents when you earn these trips, it means that you've worked on yourself. You've, you've put work into you. You've invested into you and others. That's what those trips represent. The, the actual... Look, destination is the bonus to celebrate, to celebrate what you've done in an amazing place and you get to see the world. If you choose Disneyland reunion for your incentive, what a better place to celebrate, right? And you get to learn new things and contribute to yourself again and invest in yourself and others again. 
So since he's trying to, all they're doing is trying to teach you the cycles of life and help you through them. That's all. That's what sense he's about. Wax and warmers are the smallest part of this entire business. Uh, as much as they are amazing, the products are so just uncomparable and truly do make you happy and truly do create memories and create a feeling. But it's literally just a tool. It's just a tool to be able to connect you to other people to be able to contribute to them in some way or they contribute to you. Your client, your your hostess, your team member, may, you may do nothing for them. You may not be able to help them and find the right product or whatever. They may not find the perfect gift that one time, whatever. It's kind of hard to believe, but if it's, if anything, you can find something in them. They may be able to contribute to you, help you learn something new in your life because we all have so much to contribute. This business literally gives you a platform to learn from so many more people than you'd ever be exposed to in a normal life. If you work for, if you work for um, one job, and I'm not discrediting working for someone at all. I think everybody's got, there's, Everybody's got a purpose and a contribution and we need all these different jobs out there, right? But what I'm saying, when you go to the same job every day, you're not exposed always to different people. You generally are exposed to the same people on a regular basis, right? Not that they're not valuable, not that they're, you know, not important. I'm just saying this business gives you the opportunity to be exposed to new people all the time and of all walks of life. So we're constantly receiving from and learning from all these people. And then you're able to contribute to them as well. So let your sensei, whether you're a, um, a, a customer, I like to call you guys clients, because a customer is just somebody that you meet once and you never see again. So clients are people that are a part of your life. You know, you, you have a relationship. Um, so whether you're a client, a hostess, which is also a client as well, but a hostess that helps share the product with other all your friends and family and introduce me to them as well, or you're a consultant already, um, look at Scentsy is more than just wax and warmers and, and fragrance. Look at Scentsy as a happy place. And my friend Michelle Cohen is on watching. I got to be roommates with her and our other friend Michelle. And um, one, of the, one of the guest speakers, her name was um, Vernice the Fly Girl Armor. Please look her up. If you didn't see her live, Facebook live that I videoed, um, please still look her up on YouTube. She's amazing. But anyway, she talked about um, sometimes things happen and we think that we're so upset that why did this happen, um, you know, this way and you, and you feel so gypped and you feel so disappointed. I was disappointed when I found out that Mitch couldn't come to reunion with me. It was our first time to walk as superstar directors, a goal that we've been striving for since we joined. Um, it was a baseball theme, <laughs> which is our family's like, you know, um, we love baseball. He coaches baseball. So this is a big deal for him, you know, a baseball theme and he couldn't come. So for a minute I was like, man, this sucks. Why couldn't he come? You know, of all times, this is the reunion he can't attend. Well, it turned out to be a blessing. And that's what Vernice talked about is that you never, you may not know why, but there's always a reason in the end and you know or maybe not in the end but you'll find that reason out and I found that out when I was able to room with these two beautiful women that I was able to share these moments and learn from them and um, learn with them and um, it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have impacted me the way it did if I, I roomed with my husband right not that I don't love him we wouldn't have had a great time but I wouldn't have had the chance to see reunion in their eyes and through their eyes. I wouldn't have been able to learn about them and share moments. We got to laugh and talk till one o'clock in the morning like teenagers. We were in our pajamas and, you know, but cuddled up with our pillows. And it, we felt like we were teenagers again. We were having a girl sleepover. 
but we got to talk about life and struggles and we realized that we have so much more in common than we ever knew. And, um, oh, I love you too, Tammy. Um, I know now I'm rambling, right? <laughs> I just want whoever's watching to know that some of you have been wondering how I'm doing. Is Jess ever going to come back? The Jess that she once was. I didn't know that until this week. I wondered that too. I wondered if I'd ever be back. If the person that I was would ever be that person again. And I know now this week from what I saw and experienced that I'm not only going to be the person I was, but I'm going to be a better person. I'm going to continue to grow and continue to live for my brother in his honor because he can't experience life anymore. So I'm going to live life to the fullest. And not that it's not going to be hard sometimes. I'm going to have these days, these moments but I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be able to dry my eyes and, and still smile. My friend, Michelle Cohen, who I was telling you about, she explains Sensi as her happy place for many reasons. And, um, that's what Sensi is to me. She made me realize that as long as it's in my life, I always have some more happy to be. And I have so much, so many reasons to live. For that little girl right there. <laughs> for my son, for my husband, for my friends, for my family. Um, I know, Tammy, thank you. Oh, my husband just made me an iced coffee. <laughs> I have reasons to live for iced coffee. Um, Orville talked about just, you know, thinking about all the reasons why you're blessed, you know, I'm happy that I, I have a home, I, you know, there's so many things that I'm grateful for. And I just want you guys all to remember that when things get rough, when things are frustrating, when you're stressed out, just remember it always could be worse. There's, it always could be worse. There's always somewhere out, somewhere, someone out there suffering more than us at that moment, as hard as it may be to feel that way. And you never know who's watching. I may see the people that are watching right now, and I know you're watching, but there's somebody out there that this message is touching, and I hope it is. I hope it makes you think about all the things in life you do have instead of all the things you don't. Hi, Chris. Um, since he gives me a purpose and it's not about me it's about realizing that I'm not here for me God didn't put me here for me it got me put God put me here to to contribute to other people's lives and if I stop living if I keep hiding from the world I'm not doing, I'm not living that purpose anymore. Um, this business gave me a, a, a opportunity to sit back and reflect and grieve. If I didn't have a business like this, I wouldn't have been able to do that. But I do, I worked hard for years did I know it was gonna be for this reason? No, but I knew in my heart that I was working for something big and that was meaningful. And this business gave me a, a, an, a, the ability to heal. And it still gives me a business to heal, an opportunity to heal. I'm never going to be healed completely but I'm always gonna be moving closer to the healing process. And I'm gonna learn how to live my, my life the way it is today, my new normal, they, said, they, they say to, um, to me, 
my new normal. On here and you're an inspiration and you, you seem like an amazing person, mentor mom. Oh, thank you, Megan, I appreciate that. Um, so you're gonna see more of me, I promise. I'm going, I, a few months ago I went on YouTube, since I know you're on here, Megan, and I said that I promised everybody that you would. I didn't realize it was gonna take this long, so, but I, I'm keeping that promise. I am going to continue to share. And um, I, I pray to God anytime I come on these things or I present at a for a sensey thing, I always say if I can touch one person's heart, then it's worth it to be vulnerable. So I pray that somebody on here needed to hear this message. And um, if you're a sensey consultant, really understand the, what you have with Sensi, how it contributes and to your personal life if you let it, and um, how much the company, Orville and Heidi, myself, all of us love you all so much. If you are a, again, a friend, a client, a host, which is all of those things, <laughs> um, or just somebody watching, um, I pray that the messages I give through my eyes, through my experiences, hopefully inspire you in some way to be the, a better you and to love the person you are. Thank you, Kim. I love you too. Thank you, Tammy. Um, anyways, I've learned from my upline, Becca Levi, to listen to my heart and my instincts and um, she's never that's never been wrong whenever I just go for it and I, I feel something that needs to be said it's always been right and I'm happy I did this and it excites me to um, that I have so much to look forward to Megan I'm starting to realize that more that more I'm a consultant I'm hoping to be at reunion next year and you're one of the people I'd be honored to meet oh Megan I hope you are too the cool thing is we have an entire year to plan for it financially babysitting wise or if you can't bring the kids but this year we can so that's something we don't have to worry about um, but yes I would love to meet you in person that means meeting all of you is what the most amazing part of this business because the most amazing people are a part of this business. Hi, Evita. Um, anyways, thank you for letting me share. Um, give yourself a reason to to look forward to things every year. Um, since he gives us that, and um, I, I I strive to continue to bless people with this opportunity because it's just saved my life in so many ways. That's my team name, Jesse's Angels Saving Lives, because everybody in this business is an angel to me. And because of you, I've been able to have a life that I never thought was possible. And now I didn't know when this first happened five months ago that I would be able to move on. And so I can honestly say that since he saved my life, because I know that I still have one. I can talk all day, um, but I just hope that this touches somebody's heart and uh, I need to share, that helps me. That helps, that's therapeutic for me, is to help me. So thank you for watching and um, I love everyone. <laughs> Bye everyone.